So, we are out of the town of Lone Pine. Skeeters. Out of the town of Lone Pine, hiking up a dirt road so that we can get to the trailhead for the Tuttle Creek Ashram. It's pretty warm today. Um, last time we tried this trail, there was too much snow, but we had a bigger vehicle so we could drive to the trailhead. But my little grocery getter wasn't gonna do this road. So we added a couple miles of dirt road, which is a lot of elevation on a dirt road and a lot of mosquitoes, but it's really beautiful. And we're excited to see what we see. Down there. <sighs> Me panting, trying not to die, walking up this hill. <sighs> Ouch, Skeeters. So many mosquitoes. So much beauty, so much pain, but so much beauty. Are they getting you? Oh my God, holy smokes. That's crazy. Do you feel them on you, Nord? Yeah, they like me. They like me. Walking through the worst mosquito hell I've ever experienced. The worst. Let's see how Nord looks. I got a few on me. Yeah. We're in a swarm of them. This is crazy. I put my puffy on so they couldn't bite me and it's hot out here. Nuts. That was me eating a mosquito. Ugh. I swallowed one. After so much up, the trail finally levels out a little bit. And the mosquitoes are still attacking. I think it's right up there somewhere. This hike is pretty damn steep. Kind of kicking my ass. I just walked 109 miles, but the PCT would spread this much elevation out over 10 miles. And we've done this much in like three miles. And it's just up, so much up. So guys, we're hiking up this trail here. You can see the desert floor way down there behind me. We've climbed a lot and we are going higher and higher. Some nice Yosemite quality granite behind us. We're really closer to Kings Canyon Sequoia, but it's still, and uh, in our adventure, we uh, think we found a bear, if you can see it. See it? Tell me bear. You gotta look out for bears around here. Tuttle Creek down in the canyon there. We were not at the bottom of the desert floor, but definitely in that deserty part. And climbed up into the trees because we had to park so far down from the trailhead. 
but the climate has changed significantly. New biome. It's pretty cool. I like the trees. Apparently, if you know what you're looking for, you can see this in the mountain on the way up. But since it's made out of the same... Oh, is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it right there. I haven't seen it before, but that certainly looks like not a rock. Ah. Okay, so that wasn't it I was looking at before. I just rounded this corner and you can see it up there on the hillside right there. Tuttle Creek Ashram. So we're almost there. Cross the creek. Cross the creek, we're up the hill. The creek in about 50 yards. All right. We got it. We gotta climb it again though. Yeah, that's okay. We've been climbing this whole time. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, let's go see it. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure there's still a couple mosquitoes inside my coat from when I put it on that are biting me. I love these walls. So. This is the next canyon over from um, Whitney Portal, Lone Pine Creek. So if you look at a map, Lone Pine Creek is the next canyon, or the next creek to the north of us. And then Tuttle Creek is this one down in the canyon here that you can hear. Can you imagine building a place right there? I'm glad nobody can. Boy, I like these trees like this that are all bent and pushed to the ground. I've seen them a few times and I don't know why, but I always think of them as witches and they're guardians of magical places. So this must be a special spot. This looks like a railroad tie. Wow. We crossed the stream and now we're in a, a totally different environment. Big trees all over behind and in front of me. We're just walking. I think we're pretty close to where we're going, but it's just really pretty out here now. This reminds me of growing up in the Northwest and it's all freshly melted out. So it smells like growing up in the Northwest. It's pretty nice. <laughs> How can you be sure? <laughs> Somebody just added some rock here because it's all gone now. The original.
I mean, I like cool old stuff, but this is creepy. This is not a place I would have come alone. It's not hard to imagine why somebody would build here. All the rocks in this building are sourced from this spot. They hauled some lumber up here. The people who created this place got people excited about doing it and they had a lot of help and people who believed in it. And it's just a really beautiful place. And you have this lovely view out the window here. And then if you look out this window up here, I'm gonna try to zoom in. There's a rather large waterfall back in the canyon there. Just what a, what a location, man. I'm glad it's wilderness and nobody can build here, but it's easy to imagine why somebody would. We got a late start on our hike. And so we are hiking down now in the dark. There's a tiny bit of snow left. The last time we tried to do this trail, we turned back after a mile because it was too snowy and too sketchy. So we finally got it done. Uh, it was really pretty. Now that it's dark though, it's pretty creepy, especially since that old building is old and Nora told me that there was a hollow floor, which probably is just for lightning strikes, but still really creeped me out. And now I wanna go home. So here's my Blair Witch impression. So scary out here in the dark. Just kidding, we'll be fine. <laughs>